Okay guys, we're back with another 30 minute paleo meal. Today we're going to be doing grilled chicken with wild arugula, Asian pear, and walnut salad with walnut vinaigrette. No picture, but there it is right there. I'm excited about this one. I'm going to use my grill for this one. So I've got my grill preheating outside. We're going to cut up some 5 ounces, 4 5 ounce chicken breast. So I've got some that um, I order my, my uh, meat from ButcherBox. It's a prepackaged um, meal or uh, prepackaged meat that just comes to your house so you don't have to go. And it's all grass fed. So I've got my um, whey thing right here. It's got a cut a plate on it. So we're going to do five ounces. Let's see if this is five ounces. Let's see how much this is. If it works. Come on. <clears throat> Let me just cut this in half here. There you go, about four and a half ounces. So I'm just going to put this on here. Four and a fourth ounces, so that's good. Here is another big piece. Again, this is from my butcher box. Ooh. Well, this just came right out of my butcher box. So we're just going to cut this in half here. Grass fed, organic. This is three and five eighths, which is fine. And this one says it's two ounces, but I know it weighs more than that. Two and three fourths. This is fine. So we got all of our chicken here. We're going to take this out to the grill and then um, we're going to cook these for a couple of minutes. Actually, no, 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 I'm, I'm wrong. Hold on. So we got to take olive oil. Let me wash my hands really quick. Clean up this little of the chicken in here. Let's pull off to the side here. And we're going to move this over. So you guys can kind of see. Shut this off here. We're going to take one teaspoon or tablespoon of olive oil. I actually got this olive oil in Italy when I was in Italy. Um, this uh, September it was a fantastic trip. I loved it. I can't wait to go back, but this is actual extra virgin olive oil from Italy. So we're going to put that in our chicken here. And then we're going to take some sea salt and some pepper. So a half a teaspoon of salt. And then some ground pepper. We're going to take one teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Okay, you guys is trying to go outside with me. Oh, Pikachu wants to go outside too. My cat, you want to come out, Pika? You let her go out every once in a while just to get some fresh air. She's definitely a inside cat. But here is my grill. I got it last. Uh, I got it last summer, I think. So we've had it for a while. But here is the chicken, and we're gonna let it cook for just a little bit on each side and then bring it in and put it to our salad together you guys want to check out my backyard here is our new seating area we're going to grab some more chairs but this is all metal very cute detail Kyle picked these out metal chairs we got our Nebraska Cornhusker uh, cushions to go on them and then this umbrella is huge it like goes all the way across. This is another metal table that we use. And then our pool is somewhat clean. Today it's always been a pretty disaster because we get a lot of wind storms and dust storms. But there is our pool. And we got all of our new gravel in the back there. And along this side here. I know the lighting isn't very good. but And then we're going to put fake grass here. Um, hopefully this fall or maybe next year and then on this side here is still a disaster but 
we're going to be putting a shed back here so we're just kind of seeing where the economy goes and putting a, a um, desk or a, a shop back here for Kyle so we're gonna go back in, back inside and uh, start cooking the salad part of it put together the salad part Let me find my cat. Okay, so our chicken is done grilling, so we're just going to set this aside, let it cool. And now we're going to go ahead and start with the dressing. So we do um, a fourth of a cup of unfiltered uh, apple cider vinegar. There's my cat. She wants back inside. She's filthy. Okay, so we're going to do the apple cider vinegar. I've got a brax. Um, a fourth of a cup. Hopefully it doesn't take up too much of the smell in my dressing. But that, that mayonnaise, that homemade mayonnaise that we made was really, really good. I like that. And then we're going to take a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. I got this on Amazon. One tablespoon. There we go. And then we're going to add raw honey, a teaspoon of raw honey. So I've got my unfiltered raw honey here. Sam's Club. Just a little bit. So far we're keto except for this. Um, honey here, but it's not a lot, so that's always good. Grab a little spoon or something and get this out of here. And then sea salt. Get this honey out of there. And then some sea salt. We're going to do half, fourth of a teaspoon. And then some black pepper. Stir this around. This is going to be our dressing. Okay, and then we're going to do a walnut oil. I have never used walnut oil before. I, I Fries actually had it at the store, so I got it right there walnut oil I don't know if you guys can see it. it's not showing up very well here we go walnut oil cost me like twelve dollars so it's not cheap Let's see if I can get this thing open here there we go and we're gonna do a fourth a cup and we're gonna drizzle it this is quite a bit of walnut oil Hmm. It's got like a. I don't know. It smells really good though. I've never. It says okay to make the dressing in a small bowl. Combine the apple cider vinegar, the mustard, the honey, the salt, and pepper, and mix well. Slowly drizzle in the walnut oil. Maybe this will help dilute that apple cider vinegar. I'm interested to see how this is going to taste. I'm excited about that walnut oil. Walnut oil. It's kind of bubbly because of that walnut oil, but it does look really good. Definitely can smell that apple but apple cider vinegar still, but we're gonna set this aside And then we're gonna cut up some pears And then we've got this pear here, so we're gonna cut this up. I love pears. I haven't had pears in forever Definitely not an Asian pear, but this is all I had at the store. So this is what we're getting Okay. 
Okay. Looks good. And then we're going to peel. Uh, actually, we need to do some walnuts. We actually need to do fourth of a coat co of roasted walnuts. Now, I need to warm these up. I don't think it really matters. And we're going to do the Marie hack. You ready? I'm going to take this. These containers are wonderful. I don't remember where I got them, but they're great. I love them. And my husband is sleeping, so I'm going... I can't do it on the counter. i got to bring you guys down to the ground here. And I've got my mallet here. <laughs> and we're just going to chop these up in my plastic bag. Perfect. And then we're going to wait for the oven to preheat. And then we're going to just put these on a baking dish and roast them. We've got a baking dish right here. I'm going to grab some aluminum foil here. Clean and easy, you didn't have to get out another dish, like a food processor or anything like that to chop them up. You don't have to wash it. You just throw the baggie away, and we're going to let this sit for a second while we preheat the oven. Another um, interesting fruit in this is going to be a pomegranate. I was introduced to pomegranates probably... I don't know a while ago, but they are a new fruit to me. I think it was probably, I don't remember, but it's been a while. So the weird thing about this one is that it just wants us to use the seeds. So I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get out the seeds. I don't know how well I want to dig. I'm just trying to take off the edges here. Let's see if we can get okay so I'm going to arrange start well I gotta wait for these and I gotta cut up this chicken so I'm gonna put you guys on a brief hold Okay guys, I cut up all the chicken. The chicken looks fantastic. I forgot how I really like grilled chicken. It's so moist. So much better than on in the oven where the oven just kind of soaks it up and dries it out. This is really good. So now we're going to start assembling the salad. We're going to take the baby arugula. And if I can get it open here. And we're going to just put this on the plate here, arrange it so fancy like, and then we're going to um, take the pears, put some pears here, just, just take them all over the place here, and then we're going to take our walnuts, our toasted walnuts that smell so good and then we're going to take our pomegranate yep pomegranate I cut up the whole thing I got lots of seeds so these are really burst in your mouth I love them that's why I like them at the beginning when I first tried them is because they burst into your mouth look at that color you guys it looks so pretty and then we're going to take some of this chicken here Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. It looks so good. And then we're going to take some of this dressing. Just kind of stir it up. And then drizzle it over. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of myself. It looks so fancy. I'm excited, you guys. 
I needed to take a picture of this. It looks so pretty. Let me see if I can take a picture. It's not going to let me. It's going to make me... Hold on. Picture. Okay, I had to take a few photos before uh, we tried this because it looks fantastic. The colors look so good. Uh, just the chicken, all the beautiful red colors. The, and now we're going to try it here. And then that dressing is going to be interesting, but we're going to try this out. Mmm. This is so good. This would be a good Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas salad with the green and the red. It is so good. I really like this. The vinaigrette is a little bit powerful because of that apple cider vinegar. But just remember your apple cider vinegar is really good for you. So that taste of just a little bit of it compared to everything else in this salad is fantastic. I can't wait for my husband to try this. It is so good. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Bye!